Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a stunning 2011 Lexus RX 350 all-wheel drive. This thing is beautiful. Wait till you see the paint color. We're gonna go over all the features, both interior and exterior. We're gonna go over the performance specs, and we're gonna end up in the driver's seat where I'm gonna show you how all the features work. Thank you so much for watching, and let's dive right in to a 2011 Lexus RX 350. This is such a fantastic example of a very clean third generation Lexus RX 350. I thought it'd be valuable for you to take a look, an in-depth look at what this thing is. The wheelbase is 107.9 inches. The overall length is 187.8 inches. The overall width without the mirrors folded out is 74.2 inches. And the overall height is 66.3 inches. It has a base curb weight of 4,343 pounds. It has a smart access keyless operation system. So as long as you have this key fob on your person, you can operate the RX350 completely, both locking, unlocking, starting, cutting it off and using the rear hatch. The lock button on the top, unlock below that, the rear hatch open below that, and then the panic alarm at the very bottom. Press lock once, it locks all the doors. Press unlock once, it unlocks the driver's door. Unlock twice, it unlocks all four doors, plus gives you access to the hatch. Pressing the hatch button and holding opens the rear hatch for you. And then pressing and holding again once it's fully open will allow you to close the rear hatch. And again, as long as this is on your person, if the doors are locked, then you simply approach the RX, put your hand on the handle, and it will unlock. When you're finished using it, you can close it, and there's a dimple right there on the door, top of the door handle. Press it, doors lock. And check out that color. Isn't that a fantastic color? I'll think of the name in a minute. Gosh, it's... It is escaping me. And these are gonna sit on 235, 55, 19 wheels. And this one happens to have Bridgestone Dueler HL400 tires. The front brakes are ventilated to allow them to cool more efficiently. And the rear brakes are a solid disc. There are little dots on the rear bumper and that's park assist. You can see those dots right there. And that's what beeps if you get too close to something at parking lot speeds. You also have a rear camera, which cuts on automatically when you put it in reverse. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the heart of the beast. We're looking at a 3.5 liter V6 with 275 horsepower at 6,200 RPM and 257 pound foot of torque at 4,700 RPM. It has a six-speed sequential shift automatic transmission, and the fuel economy that you should expect is gonna be around 18 in the city, 24 on the highway, and a fuel tank capacity of approximately 19.2 gallons. The cover for the battery is gonna be just to the right with your engine coolant cover there below it. Brake fluid is gonna be right there toward the firewall on the back right. Engine oil fill is right here over on the left, and you can see the two GRFE engine designation. It does take fully synthetic oil. You can see it says SAE 0W20. Change that every 10,000 miles. The little yellow guy right there, that's going to be your engine dipstick, engine oil dipstick. And then you have washer fluid right there. This one also has the optional high intensity discharge headlights with dynamic auto leveling. And uh, that's a pretty cool headlight. The light moves up and down in accordance with the pitch of the front of the RX350. And the headlights will also turn left and right in accordance to the angle of the steering wheel. An electric power steering system replaced the previous belt driven hydraulic pump. A double wishbone rear suspension setup replaces the previous McPherson strut design. And you do have coil springs, both front and rear. A neat thing about the third generation RX transmission is that it can lock up its torque converter from second through sixth gears to improve fuel economy. And Lexus also dropped the center locking differential and added a new active torque control all-wheel drive system. And that can divert anywhere from 50% 
up to 100% of the power to the front wheels for reduced drivetrain associated efficiency losses and that in turn increases your fuel efficiency. Now before I open the rear hatch with the key fob pressing the button, now I'm gonna open it with the rubber button here and it's located directly below the Lexus emblem under this lip. You can just pull it and it'll unlock it so you can open it at the same time. You can see the rear cargo area. This one has the optional rubber cargo mat. And you can just take this tonneau cover that feeds into these grooves here. And that will allow you to bring it shut. You can remove that tonneau cover there if you wish. It does have three lights in the back. You also have a handle there. And that's where you can pull and it'll fold that seat. You can see I've already folded it right there. Then I can show you how this one folds. There's the back seat. And you just pull it and it'll fold. And one of the neat things about the new rear suspension set up in this one for over the previous generation is that it got rid of those big strut towers that are right there, were right there, and it increased your space in the back. Close it by pressing. There's your backup camera. And with the seat back up, you can pull this and that will actually fold the seat down. You also have a metal handle that's under there that you can pull that up and slide the seat forward. Child safety anchor and that gray dot right there represents that a location for a child safety seat anchor is right down there underneath this dot. So you can see the dot, go down there and you can actually feel it with your fingertip that's where you're gonna latch into that seat to anchor a child safety seat. You can see now why I chose to shoot this RX350. It's absolutely impeccable. Controls for your windows on the driver's side are right here. They are all one touch, automatic up and down. And then you have your seat memory positions here set one, two, three, that will memorize your seat, your steering wheel, and your mirrors for up to three people. And then you have all of your power adjustments for your driver's seat right here. You can see you have lumbar in the very back, that little toggle there. Also something that I like to point out is that the seats are perforated. You see the holes? And that is because this one has the heated and ventilated front seats and the perforations are also in the back seats, but that's simply to match the front ones. They're not heated or ventilated. You can see you've got a little tab there that says SRS airbag and you do have side impact airbags on all seating positions and um, that's front and back. Driver's side airbag for the steering wheel and passenger for the dash. And then you also have a driver's side knee airbag and a passenger side knee airbag with side curtain airbags all down each side. Tons of airbags. The buttons that we're looking at now are for the power rear hatch for your fuel door. And then you do have a really cool cup holder there. That's not in the new bottles. I wish they had not done away with that. Everything that looks like wood on the inside of the RX, that is real wood. There's no plastic resin that represents wood. You can see a little joystick there on the steering column and that's how you're gonna move your steering wheel up, down, in, and out in order to memorize it into a seating position if you wish. As long as you have the key fob on your person, put your foot on the brake. The light inside, the little push button turns green and you just tap it. Heated and ventilated front seats, three level little cable outlet there that's really cool so that if you have a phone that you're charging inside the box you just open that up and run the cable out of it the button on the left is traction control off the one on the right is the locking center differential when you put it into drive that's drive right there at any speed you can take it and flip it over and you can then gear up and down manually I can then flip it over that's regular drive neutral Putting it into reverse shows me my backup camera. Of course, that comes up in real time. On the left side of the steering wheel, I see my steering wheel audio controls. The top is volume up and down. Mode allows me to change the mode AM, FM, uh, satellite, CD, auxiliary. And then the arrows up and down allow me to change the preset track. Like if I have radio stations that are memorized or if I'm listening to a CD, 
I can change the track there. Then on the right side here, I see enter and up and down, a little pages icon, so I can press pages, and then you can see it says P on and off. That allows me to cut park assist off and on if I wish. Then I can toggle down to ECT snow. ECT stands for electronically controlled transmission, that's snow mode, and that'll make it uh, better for driving in the snow, especially on uh, taking off from a standstill. AFS, that's what I was telling you about the headlights, adaptive front lighting system. I can cut that on or off, and that'll make the, if it's off, that'll make the headlights stay in place while I'm driving. Then cruising range, outside temperature, eco, that's real time miles per gallon, and then just a lot of fuel economy and driving information. Voice commands are all here, and then Bluetooth is right here. Right now we're looking at the windshield wiper stalk, and you can see it says auto in a couple of places, and that means that it has automatic rain sensing wipers, and the uh, default position is off. So that's uh, missed, it went to off. I can pr pull it down once. You can probably hear the wipers wipe, and that just lets me know that the feature is now active. Uh, so in, in other words, automatic rain sensing wipers are on. I can then adjust the sensitivity of rain sensing wipers with this dial on the inside. And then whenever it starts to rain, they'll cut on automatically. And then the turn signal stalk here, and that's also of course the headlights. You can see DRL off is right there. That's daytime running lights off. But right now you see the little hash mark that lines up with auto, and that's automatic headlights. So they're gonna cut on automatically as the sun goes down. I can roll it up for parking lights on or continue to roll it up all the way toward the front of the vehicle to cut everything on manually. This is our remote touch controller and when you move this around it corresponds to what happens on the screen. So you can see the little cursor there. I'm going to press menu and this is the display that pops up. I'm going to move my remote touch controller cursor over here to destination, info and phone, setup, climate and audio. I recommend if you get one of these or if you have questions about how things work to go first to set up. And this is going to allow you to customize the RX350 to exactly the way you want it to work according to these blocks. General, clock, voice, navi, phone, audio, vehicle, and other. And then I recommend going over to vehicle and going to customization because this is how you're going to customize these things to work exactly the way you want them to work. And here's why I went here first. I'm going to go to door lock settings and you see it says shift link auto unlock. When you put it in park, the doors are going to automatically unlock. And I actually prefer to cut that off. So I'm going to go enter, off, save. And now, when I put the vehicle in park, the doors are gonna remain locked. Then, I'm gonna to go to light settings, and you see where it says light sensor sensitivity? And remember I told you about the automatic headlights that cut on when the sun's going down? This determines when those headlights cut on. I'm gonna press enter, and then I'm gonna move it to the right, plus it once, okay, and save. What that does is it causes the headlights, when set in auto, to cut on a little bit sooner, increasing your safety. That's just two things under vehicle customization and vehicle settings in setup. So you can see, you can imagine there are a lot of things that you can go, that you can customize within setup. That's why I say you should do this first because if you go and you start to mess with all these other things like Bluetooth and all of that, and I do recommend getting Bluetooth set up early, but go ahead and get set up done while you can because if you don't, then most likely you won't and you won't be able to take advantage of all the very cool customizable things that this vehicle has to offer. Destination, pressing enter, and this is how you're gonna find a destination. I'm gonna hover to audio and you can see audio right there. You can see along the top it says AM, FM, satellite, CD, BT is Bluetooth, 
auxiliary and USB. Those are the different sources of audio that you have. So you can listen to a CD, you can also stream from your device through Bluetooth, auxiliary and USB. You can see I'm, I've got the FM tab highlighted. I've got it on 106.7 and I did that by tuning here. So I find the station that I want. Then I use the remote touch controller to determine where I want that station to be memorized. I'm, I want it at one, I'm gonna press enter with my thumb and hold it and boom, there it is. So now I have that station, K-Love, as the number one station. A really neat way of looking at this center stack is to think of the silver part up here as being audio. Then you can see the black portion down there that's kind of like a piano black finish, kind of shiny. That's all climate. And so you can see the climate system here. On the left side, it has temp. And then on the right side, it has passenger temp and that allows dual zone climate control. Above that temp there, it has manually using the fan speed. Then you have auto, front rear mode, and then fan recirculate. And then to cut off the RX, all you do is put it in park, apply your brake, and uh, by the way, check out the avocado socks. Oh, they're back and they're stronger than ever, baby. And then you'll just press the button there, and you can see the seat and the steering wheel moved away from each other, and that is called a driver's seat easy exit. That's a really cool feature. Okay, everybody, that's gonna do it for our look at the 2011 Lexus RX350. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, by the way, the name of this color, this beautiful metallic black, Stargazer Metallic. And also, I think it's important that you know that I am not an actor. I'm actually a real live car salesman and I would love an opportunity to help you at Flow Lexus of Greensboro. So if you're watching this video right now and you want to reach out to me and have me show you any vehicle here and I know these things like the back of my hand, then call me. My phone number is 336-253-3436 and that is my direct cell phone number or you can shoot me an email at brockfrady at gmail.com or Call the dealership, 336-217-5400. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you hit subscribe. And also the most important thing of all, have a great day, everybody.